Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here, uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through a couple player props I like on prize picks for tonight's NBA slate on uh, Tuesday, May the 23rd. We have Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals on Tuesday night, Celtics and Heat. Uh, the Heat are up 3-0 in this series, so they got a chance to close things out here, punch their ticket to the finals where uh, they will face the Nuggets. The Nuggets you know, wind up closing out that series against the Lakers on Monday night. Um, and we could potentially have no basketball for like a week, I think. Um, the, I'm pretty sure the finals don't start till like June the 1st. Um, and even if the Heat win on Tuesday night, th there's going to be no basketball until that day. So um, could have no basketball for, you know, like a week or so. Um, you know, if the Heat do win tonight, obviously if the Celtics win, then you know, there will be a game five, which will be, I believe, on Thursday. And then the, the series would keep going depending on how many games the Celtics win. But we got one more game, um, potentially one more game, or at least one more game, I should say, potentially more if the Celtics win um, to keep this series alive. But I got two player props I do like for this game on Tuesday night, guys. So um, as always, we're going to talk through these two props. We're going to share why I like them. Before we do get started, though, uh, breaking down the plays, if you guys do enjoy these prize picks videos, and if they do help you out, make sure you hit that like button down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you guys are new to Prize Picks, if you have never checked out Prize Picks before, you can sign up and use my promo code, promo code NOLA. Um, just click the link in the description, or when you sign up, type in that code. Uh, you'll get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you do sign up for Prize Picks with my promo code. Be sure to check them out. Take a look at all the props they have already posted uh, for Tuesday's games. Obviously, you know I've said this before. I usually record all these videos the night before, so I'm making this video on Monday night. There's not a ton on the board right now at the time of making this video, but they will add some more props to the board um, with different categories. Um, you know, they have Prospects has added like a bunch of new categories for the playoffs. Um, you know, field goals made, three pointers attempted, um, field goals attempted, minutes played. Like they they've added a bunch of new stat types, and usually they post those the day of the game. So. Um, take a look at all those different stats they have. Um, take a look at all the other sports Prize Picks does to offer as well. Um, again, on Prize Picks, you can mix and match sports. You can make multi-sport entries. It's a lot of fun. If you guys not, are, if you guys are not playing over there, get signed up. Use that code NOAA. Get your first deposit matched up to one hundred dollars. Um, but I want to recap the two plays we gave out in Monday's video before we talk through today's plays. Uh, so Monday, we hit both of our plays. We were able to win a little bit of money on Monday night. Hopefully you guys uh, did tail. We took the over on Michael Porter Jr.'s fantasy score. That's been a prop that I've been taking a lot so far in the playoffs. It's been hitting for me very consistently. That line was at 27. Felt like that line was, once again, a little bit too low for MPJ if we expected him to play you know, 35, 36 minutes. I think MPJ wound up playing like 40 or 41 minutes. Finished with like 31 fantasy points. Um, cleared his uh, projection, I think, in the early early in the fourth quarter. So it wasn't too much of a sweat there. And then we took the over on LeBron, uh, his points at 24 and a half. LeBron had a huge game offensively. I think he put up like 40 points. He had like 30 points alone in the first half. That was not a sweat at all. So it was kind of a sweat-free sweat free cash there on, on Monday night. Hopefully we can get another one of those on Tuesday night here for this game. So let's try and, you know, replicate our success from Monday night, carry that over to this game, and let's talk through the two props I like for this one. So uh, for today, both the props I do like are going to be fantasy score props. The first one that we're going to talk about is going to be Gabe Vincent. His fantasy score line, it sits at 20, and I do like the over here for Gabe Vincent. So you know, the last three games, we've seen Gabe Vincent play pretty good minutes so far in this series. If you look at you know his fantasy production, he has gone over this line in two out of the three games in this series. Uh, the game he went under, he came up like four points short, uh, four points short had 16.4 uh, fantasy points. But, you know, Gabe Vincent is coming off arguably his best game of the postseason. He was great offensively, put up 29 points, had two rebounds, three assists, a steal, and a block as well, um, nearly 40 fantasy points. But like I was saying, you look at the minutes for Gabe Vincent in this series, 35 or 36 minutes in game one, 40 minutes in game two, and then last game, Vincent played 35 and a half minutes. And I do want to mention that last game, you know, we all know, it was a massive blowout, and if you do look at the rotations last game, uh, Gabe Vincent, he did sub out with about five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Um, maybe, you know, if that game was competitive, maybe Vincent would have played out those final five minutes and he would have played like 40 minutes. But the minutes have been really strong for him in this series. He's been playing really well lately. He seems to have, you know, Eric Spolster seems to have a lot of trust and a lot of confidence in Gabe Vincent. Um, even when he's not having like a huge offensive game, he's just a guy that can, you know, provide some defense. He just, you know, he hustles when he's out there. He's just a guy you want to have on your team. Um, he's he's going to, you know, be good in the minutes that he plays. And in terms of his fantasy production, you know, Gabe Vincent has never been like the greatest fantasy producer, 
so far this season, if you look at his uh, fantasy points per minute, he's only averaging 0.67 fantasy points per minute this season, which obviously is not great. But you do have to factor in the Heat don't have Tyler Hero right now. They don't have Victor Oladipo. They're running a tighter rotation than normal. So Vincent's production is probably going to be up from what it was during the regular season. So far in the playoffs, he is averaging uh, 0.73 fantasy points per minute. So his per minute, per minute production has been uh, you know, more, it's been better, I would say, in, in the postseason. And if we expect Vincent to play like 34, 35 minutes again, I just think this fantasy score line's a little bit too low. He's played at least 35 minutes in every game in this series. And over his last 15 games, including the playoffs, where he has seen at least 30 minutes, or excuse me, 35 minutes, he is over this fantasy score line in 12 out of 15 games. There's only been three games this season where Vincent has played it, you know, 35 minutes and not gone over this line. And in those three games, he had 19.8 fantasy points, 17.9, and 16.4. So you know, came up, what, four points short or less in those three games. But every other th game this season where he's played at least 35 minutes, he's had you know more than 20 fantasy points. And again, Vincent's played 35 minutes or more in every game in this series. I would expect that to continue here, especially after he's coming off a really big game, arguably his best game of the postseason. Um, we've also seen you know the, the Heat have been more willing to play Lowry and Vincent together. You know, we saw kind of early on in the postseason, those guys were just kind of like splitting the point guard minutes, but they've been playing a lot more alongside each other lately. That just means, you know, even more secure minutes for Vincent when he can play with Lowry. So, yeah, I feel pretty good about Gabe Vincent getting, you know, 30, 31, 32 minutes here at the least. And I could definitely see him playing like close to 40 minutes if he's playing really well again. So 20 fantasy score. I think this line's you know, a little bit too low for Gabe Vincent. I think this line should probably be like 21 and a half, 22. Um, so that's what we're going to take as our first play for today. And then the other play that I like, another fantasy score prop, is going to be uh, Derek White. His fantasy score line of 21. I also like the over here for Derek White. And if you look at Derek White so far in the playoffs as of late, he's obviously not been great. His role's not been great. But he did go over this fantasy score line last game, put up 24.8 fantasy points. So far in this series, he's only gone over this line once, and that was obviously you know, last game. But I think what's really important to know is that Derek White did move into the starting lineup last game. Um, they started him over Robert Williams. I'm assuming they're going to do that again. Um, so far in the series, the Celtics have not had much success playing Robert Williams and Al Horford together. Um, that double big lineup has just not really been doing much. You know, They've just not really been able to get much going when those two guys are on the floor together. So I'm guessing we'll see Derek White start once again. And if you do look at the minutes last game for Derek White, he only played 26 minutes for the game. But again, last game was a massive blowout. Derek White didn't get any minutes in the fourth quarter. He played a ton in the first half, though. So he played he played about seven minutes in the first quarter before subbing out, and then he subbed back in with about uh, 11 minutes left in the fourth quarter, and then he played out the rest, or excuse me, not the fourth quarter, but the second quarter. He, play, uh, he played out the final 11 minutes of the second quarter. So he basically played about 18 minutes in the first half. Derek White was on pace to play about 36 minutes last game had the game been competitive. Obviously, Boston got blown out and pretty much, you know, the only starter that played in the fourth quarter was uh, was Marcus Smart. But I think if this game's competitive, if Boston actually comes out here and keeps this game competitive, we could see really big minutes for Derek White here. You know, Malcolm Brogdon's minutes have kind of been trending down lately. Brogdon hasn't really been able to get much going offensively. So, I, you know, I don't think Brogdon's minutes are as secure lately. I could definitely see Derek White playing big minutes here. He's a guy that can knock down threes when he's on the floor. He's a guy that can get some rebounds too. He can get defensive stats. He just does a little bit of everything when he's on the floor. If you look at his game last game, he only had nine points, um, but still went you know went over this fancy score line because he had four rebounds, two assists, a steal. He had two blocks. He's actually one of the best like guards at, at uh, blocking shots. He's actually averaged um, nearly a block per game this season. Last two games, he's had two blocks in both of his uh, last two games. So he can get those defensive stats. Those are always really important for fantasy score because they are worth three points each. You know, blocks and steals are huge. White's one of these guys that can do a little bit of everything when he's on the floor. And if we expect him to play like 30 plus minutes, which I think he would have played last game had the game been competitive, I feel like 21 fantasy score is a little bit too low of a line if we expect Derek White to play 30 plus minutes. If you look at this season and the games where Derek White has played at least 30 minutes over his last 25 games, including the playoffs where he's seen at least 30 minutes, he is over this fantasy score line in 22 out of those 25 games. Now, 
you know, some of those games were during the regular season. Obviously, his role was a little bit different during the regular season compared to the playoffs. In the playoffs, you know, the usage is a lot more concentrated around Tatum and around Jalen Brown. But Derek White still should be out there for a decent amount of run. I definitely like, you know, seeing him in the starting lineup last game. That makes me more confident in his minutes if he's starting once again, which I think he will be. Um, and these are the two props I do like for Tuesday night's game, for, you know, game four of the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. Hopefully the Celtics come out and put up a fight. Obviously last game was a, you know, big, just, you know, disappointment from Boston. I mean, they, they came out, got the crap beat out of them. We'll see if they put up a fight here, but these are two props I like for this game. Gabe Vincent, more than 20 fantasy score, and Derek White, more than 21 fantasy score. Um, I'll be taking a look, though, at the board again on Tuesday once more props get added, and if I find any other props I like, I'll share those over on Patreon like I always do. Also, be sharing a couple MLB plays over on Patreon as well. So if you guys want to check out all the additional prospects plays I'm on each day, you can check those out on Patreon linked down below in the description. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that like button down below if you guys did enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And be sure to go sign up for PrizePix. If you're not signed up for PrizePix yet, use that promo code NOAH. When you do sign up, you'll get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you sign up with my promo code. Uh, but good luck tonight, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching the video. Hopefully, we can win some money tonight again, and, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.